1 Samuel 31 brings us to the inevitable and glorious end of King Saul. The battle went against Israel, and Saul received word that his sons were killed. Having been severely wounded from an archer's arrow, Scripture says that the king groaned to his armor bearer, Take your sword and kill me before these pagan Philistines come to run me through and taunt me and torture me. But his armor bearer was afraid and wouldn't do it. Knowing that he would soon fall into the hands of his enemy, Saul took his own life and fell on his own sword. When the men of Israel learned their king and his sons had been killed, they not only fled the battle, but they abandoned their homes and cities. The next day, the Philistines, they went out to the battlefield and stripped the dead. And in the midst of the carnage, they found the bodies of Saul and his three sons. Demeaning Israel and their slain king, they cut off Saul's head, stripped his armor, and displayed it as a trophy. To further humiliate Israel, they took the bodies of the king and his sons and fastened them to the wall of Bethshan. When the people of Jabesh Gilead learned of the desecration and the display of the bodies of the king and his sons, we read that all their mighty warriors traveled through the night to Bethshan and took the bodies of Saul and his sons down from the wall. They brought them to Jabesh where they burned the bodies, taking their bones they buried them under a tree at Jabesh and fasted for seven days. So why did Saul and his son suffer such a disastrous and dishonorable end? Well, 1 Chronicles chapter 10 verses 13 through 14 answers that question where we read, So Saul died because he was unfaithful to the Lord. He failed to obey the Lord's command and he even consulted a medium. Instead of asking the Lord for guidance, so the Lord killed him and turned the kingdom over to David, son of Jesse. You see, it was sin and rebellion that cost Saul everything. His army, his sons, his life, and his honor. Here's the deal. Sin is hard, cruel, and relentless. Sin will destroy our marriages, strip us of our crowning achievements, and leave us feeling as if all hope is lost. Sin will rob us of everything that we hold dear. But check it out. Today, if you're in the midst of sin, it's not too late to turn to the Lord. Our God is full of compassion and mercy. He is slow to get angry, and He is filled with unfailing love and faithfulness. Listen, ending well or ending poorly is a direct result of the choices that we make in life. And the most important choice we can make is to trust Jesus Christ as our Savior. Everything else hinges on that one choice. Our death will either be a bitter end or a beautiful beginning. It all depends on whether we are trusting Christ as our Savior. Every day we are writing the ending to our story. So how do you want your story to end? Saul lived a foolish life and he died a tragic death. But that doesn't have to be the end of your story. God has given you everything that you need in Christ to succeed. So today... Go forth to live well and die well. Go forth to live for Christ.